Today's tutorial explains how to use bind values when writing calculations. Bind values are available with checkboxes, radios, and combo boxes, and make the process of writing calculations faster and easier. In this example, we have a simple event registration form that asks the user to select one or more events that they would like to attend. Our goal is to calculate the total cost of the selected events. First, let's look at the events checkbox group. Select field values to show the field's data. As you can see, there are three columns for each row. The data value column is the value that will be recorded in your database. The display value is the value shown on your form. And the third column is our bind value. More on how to use the bind column in a minute. Let's see how we would write a calculation without using bind values. In the form designer, add a text field to your form and name it subtotal. If you already have this field, simply select it. Then click binding to open the binding editor. Without bind values, we would have to write a conditional statement to check which option is selected. For example, if, and then we would choose event selection as a wildcard, equals A, then it is 50. Else if, again, choose the event selection, equals B, then it is 75. Finally, else if, event selection, field equals C, then it is 150. And if. Notice I am evaluating the field data value and not the display value when writing calculations. Click Save. As you can see, our calculation now works based on our conditional statements we just wrote. Now let's look at how this is simplified with a bind value. First, we need to add our bind values to the events field. These are the values we want to use in bindings for each row. Enter the respective price for each event in their appropriate row. Now let's update our binding. All we have to do now is simply enter the name of the field and its bind value will be used. Keep in mind that when used in a conditional evaluation, the data value field is continuing to be used. So you can still write a condition such as the if then else condition we used earlier to check the selected value. For our example, we'll simply insert the event selection field. Select save and check a column to see it in action. As you can see, it works just fine. And we didn't have to write out that if then else condition as we did earlier. But what happens when I select multiple checkboxes? The values get appended to each other and it's not exactly what we want. Luckily, Logiforms makes this easy to handle. Return to the bind editor and highlight the event selection wildcard. Click Functions to add a modifier function to this wildcard. Scroll down to select the Add Selection option, which will add up all of these selected items and give you a total. This function is specifically used for bind values and multi-choice options. Select Save and you'll see that the function now works. Now the only thing we're missing is currency formatting. Let's add another modifier to fix that. Modifier functions can be nested. So we're just going to select the existing entry and apply the currency formatter to it. And there you have it, a sophisticated calculation with no programming and created in only a couple of minutes.